І в Совєт Роща Лик Майди прев'ю з Ю Hi Chili Padawans, it's Darth Naga here again, looking a little bit orange because I've got to use uh, normal house lights rather than anything else. So uh, yeah, I might look a little bit orange, but it should be alright. <laughs> um, so I've got this month's subscription box, it weighs a fucking ton, Link my dip ultimate. The green on the front's a bit of a different colour though, which is really weird. It used to be like bright vivid green, uh, but now it's like a dark sort of khaki green. Um, and I don't know why that is. Oh well. Anyway, so let's go into the down view and I will open the box because I haven't even looked at it yet. I'll open the box on camera and we can see what's inside. Alrighty. Let's go to the down view now. Okay, here we are in the down view. Um, right, let's have a look at what's inside the box. Let's go this way around. You ready for this, guys? Here it comes. Boom! What the fuck's inside? Okay, so, as you can see, um, don't know what the fuck that is. Something to be cure and simple bitent. Oh, fuck me. And lick my dip sticker. Wood, wood. Um, da, 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 da. Let's have a look. April 2016, that tells me everything that's in it. I'm not going to look at that. Uh, what's this? Chili Jam Man! So I'm hoping there's a Chili Jam Man project in here, which I'm, uh, project, product in here, which I'm guessing there is, judging by this. And um, what we got? The Chili Jam Man Squealers! Ooh, pork scratchings! There's quite a lot of stuff in here, actually. Let's have a look. What else we've got? Uh, ooh, Seasoned Pioneers Vindaloo Spice Blend. Nice! Uh, we have a nice big bottle of something. Oh, is it exciting? Hope so. And uh, what have we got here? Ooh, Tubby Tom's the Squealer, hot sauce. Um, ooh, looks quite good. Tubby Tubby Tom's, Tubby Tom. What the fuck is this? Oh my fucking god! I am so happy. This stuff is fucking amazing. I'm really glad I got a jar because I was I was on the verge of actually buying one. I'll talk about that in a minute, actually, until we've done the uh, unboxing thing. You might see my dog Dexter walking around the side. Um, let's have a look. What's this? The Cambridge Chili Sauce Company Naga Laid. Look at that. And what else? There's some straw. Ooh. And I've got some of the Dartmoor Chili Farm Orange Chili Chocolate. This box is fucking full of win this month. So let me go back to the up view. We'll review these products individually, hopefully in order of heat, depending on if I can judge it right, because I'm pretty shit doing that. I've got milk and everything on standby because I'm a fucking little bitch. So let's pack all this away and go to the up view now. Okay, here we are back in the up view. Of course. Since I went to the down view and come back up, the, the lights have now sorted themselves out because there's no sunlight behind me, and my curtains look blue. I can promise you they're fucking brown. Really weird. Right, okay, so what we've got here, we have got Tubby Tom's Squealer. We've got the Dartmoor Chili Farm Orange Chili Chocolate. Oh yes. We have the Squealers from the Chili Jam Man. We've got the best stuff in the world, Chamoolies, fucking salted caramel, chili. Uh, we've got Vindaloo Spice Blend, and we've got the Cambridge Sauce Company, Cambridge Chili Sauce Company's Nagalade. Good fucking pack of stuff. What else did we get? Well, we got a little a little leaflet about the jam man. I know Simon very well, um, and he's got a fucking massive range now. Look at all that. Ooh, look at all the shit he's got. So, um, yeah, amazing chili jams, unlike any others, but, but we haven't got any chili jam this time, we've got his squealers, so uh, we'll, we'll see where, how that goes. I've got my Lick My Dip sticker, which is good. I was going to stick it on my fucking forehead then, but I'll only look more of a prick than I already do. Uh, Curin Simple Bacon, ooh. You can try your first pack for a pound. Curin Simple Bacon. 
one pound for your first pack. Nice. Right, what have we got here? The Squealer. Made by hand and glossed up by the man himself, Tubby Tom. Promises rich, distinctive, smoky flavours in his sauces with a feisty kick. The Squealer is a straight up Scotch bonnet sauce, blah blah blah. Squealer, spotting a theme here, delivering the soundtrack springs to mind. The King of Nibbles is back. Mm, uh, coating the Secret Spice blend, might, might you cry, but definitely if you want more. Orange chili chocolate, the chili salted caramel from fucking. Oh, Chimulis, that's going to be my favourite bit of this. I'll tell you why in a minute. Nargalade and Vindaloo Spice Blend, which I will tell you all about in a second. Um, right, so the squealers are going to be sort of medium. Tubby Tom's, I'm going to reckon, is quite spicy. I'm going to say the Vindaloo Spice Blend and the Nargalade are probably the hottest. Um, I'm going to go for the Nargalade being the hottest and the Vindaloo Spice Blend being just before that. And the chocolate is somewhere near the front with the chamoulis. The chamoulis I'm going to go first. So this is chamoulis. It is a chilli salted caramel. Now, the funny story is, I was supposed to review it. They gave me a jar. I fucking ate it all. <laughs> and, by the way, it makes the most amazing chilli like hot milk. You stir it into hot milk, it's fucking amazing. Um, it's also really good on ice cream and stuff like that. Trust me, we tried it with everything and it is fucking lush. If you like salted caramel, this stuff is the way forward. Um, I believe their website's chamoulis.core.uk, but let's just double check. Facebook chamoulis, chamoulis at gmail.com. I believe they've got a website. I think it's either chamoulis.com or .co.uk. Whichever one it is, it will be up there. Um, so let me get my spoon. And let us taste this delicious chilli salted caramel. So yeah, I was going to be buying a, a, a jar of this stuff anyway to do my review. So quite chuffed that there's actually a jar arrived. And I can actually do them a proper review now. Right now. So I'll tell you what. For you out there who haven't signed up yet for Lit My Dip, you are missing out on some fucking crackers. Because the, the, the ultimate box is well worth the money so far. With everything you get in it. Mmm. Mmm. Honestly, this stuff's amazing. It's budgy. It's so slightly salty. And it's got that tiny little kick of heat at the back. I believe they also do a Naga one. Looks quite a bit hotter. But, mmm. It's fudgy. It's very sweet. It's got a beautiful, lasting... Just texture and taste, really. Mm. Honestly, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Still on the uh, sweet thing. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't tell you the ingredients of that. Fucking hell, I'm getting well ahead of myself here. Um, it's made in North Hants. I don't know, I don't know. North Northampton? I guess. Um, ingredients, sugar, double cream, butter, sea salt, chilli. So straightforward and easy. Um, and you can warm it up to make it a little bit easier to pour. Um, but it says here, a luxurious dessert sauce to dip, spread, or eat straight from the jar. It's so true. Amazing stuff. Really is. Fucking incredible. And it won an award last year at Great Dorset. So, yeah. Right, I just opened up this chocolate. I love dark chocolate, so I'm really hoping that this is going to be the bomb. So look what it says. Dartmoor Chili Farm. Uh, this is mild. It's Cocoa mass, 72% cocoa butter, sugar, vanilla, emulsifier, orange oil, ring of fire, chilies. Made in an area where nuts and milk are used. Finest Swiss chocolate, zesty orange with a chilli twist. I fucking love the Dartmoor Chilli Farm. Uh, DartmoorChilliFarm.com, up there. Um, Phil and Kay are amazing people and they they do they do so much. And they've, they've tried so hard to get, you know, the Dartmoor Chilli Farm... It, it's 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 big. It's well known. It, it's not a big farm, but it, it's very well known. It's very popular, and I've I've seen them go through so much hardship over the last year and a bit, um, and it, it really is a shame. But I think they're back on the up now, and and it's good to see, to be honest. But yes, Dartmoor Chili Farm, orange chili chocolate. Mmm. 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 This stuff 
It's amazing. What do you want, Daxter? Go away. Come on. Go and lay down. Mm. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Really nice texture. It's got that lovely sort of, it's not horrible and soft like a lot of cheap chocolate. It's got that lovely sort of snap. Like them, when you hear, when you hear me lift, listen. That is an indication of top quality chocolate. When it makes that snap noise as you break it, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I don't know what to try next. I almost want to fucking throw a wild card in there. I'm going to try a bit of the spice blend, but I'm not going to go fucking mental with it because obviously me and uh, the lovely Lisa can use this for cooking. Um, let me try the squealers. Oh, chili jam man! Here, where's the man? Where's the jam? Um, I don't actually say his website on um, Hold on, let me have a quick look at me chili jam man leaflet. The chili jam man. Eat more jam. The chili jam man. Dot com. Of course it is. I'm a fucking idiot. So let's give a try of one of these. Mm. Oh, smells good. Smells really good. Let me grab a nice big juicy one. Wow, look at that. Lush. Like a fucking toenail or some shit. Hmm. Fucking hell. They're nice. Port wine, salt, wheat, flour, rusk, onion powder, flavour enhancer, monosodium glutamate, paprika, tomato, E262, sodium diacetate, hydrolyzed vegetable protein, acidity regulator, E330, garlic powder, paprika extract, E160C, rice, flour, herbs, sugar, anti caking agent, E551, flavour and spice extracts, and chilli powder. I love the chilli jam, man, but fuck my life is that a lot of fucking ingredients for a packet of pork fucking scratchings. <laughs> it's a little bit worrisome. I don't like the e-numbers in there, I, I, you know. They are, they are nice, don't get me wrong, they taste really good. But, my heart lies with fire foods, pork scratchings. Fire foods and Naga scratchings are the fucking bollocks. They are the bee's knees, honestly. They are amazing. These are lush, but they just haven't got that kick I'm looking for. That spicy... Oh, it's just... I can't explain it. I can't explain it. But, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all, chili jam, man. Squealers. Nice. Hmm. Right, now we're starting to get towards the hot end. Um, what's in this Vindaloo spice blend? Fuck. It's got nagas in it. I'm going to wait for that. <laughs> Let's have a look. Right, Tubby Tom. Tubby Tom the Squealer Hot Sauce. 150 grams. Ingredients, scotch bonnet, onion, red wine, vinegar, olive oil, white sugar, tomato puree, garlic puree, salt, paprika, pepper, xanth and gum. Easy. We like tubbytoms.com. Go to that right there. Uh, this has got a little thing on it. I shall open it up right now. <clears throat> yep. Ah, there we go. Eh. Can't seem to get. Ah, there we go. Let's give it a little shake before I end up having a spoonful and dying. Oh, it smells nice. Really nice. Is this going to be one of my new favourite hot sauces? I won't know until I've tried it. There we go. Check that shit out. It's lovely and smooth. Um, it's It's got a creamy look to it, and that's probably from the oil in it. But, um, yeah, it doesn't have like an oily residue or anything like that on it. It smells fucking amazing. Like, really, really, really good. Oh, mate, I'm looking forward to this. That's seriously good. Spicy, but not too much so. 
You can definitely taste the red wine vinegar. I'm not really getting the garlic. I'm getting the tomato. I'm definitely getting vinegar. But, and the scotch bonnets are sort of, obviously the burn is there from the scotch bonnets and the slight taste as well. But, yeah. That's nice. Shake before use. Open, oh, once open, lob in the fridge and smash within four weeks. Fucking hell. And it's made in Gloucester. For uh, for anyone who, who wants to know. Handmade in the UK. And I saw the picture on um, on the Lick My Dip group of Tubby Tom making his sauce. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I wouldn't mind actually visiting his, um, visiting his facility at some point, doing a little video or something. But yeah, well done Tubby Tom. That stuff is fucking nice. It's a perfect pouring sauce. Go really well on chips and shit like that. And just about anywhere really. Love the tomato taste. I love tomato based hot sauces. I really do. Um, mm, that was amazing. And the heat's just right. <laughs> yeah, he says. It's not quite enough to give me hiccups, but it's enough to let me know it's there. Uh, no leopards in this one. Yeah, no, I like that. Just gonna have a quick squiz of milk just to rinse my palate. <clears throat> okay. Two things left Nargolade, Vindaloo powder, Vindaloo spice blend. I'm gonna go for the Vindaloo spice blend from Seasoned Pioneers. Uh, SeasonedPioneers.com, that's their website there. And this has got in it, it says traditionally dry roasted and blended by hand to a genuine Indian recipe. Capture the authentic taste of Guan Vindaloo in your kitchen. Flavour, aroma, fiercely hot spice blend. To make authentic Vindaloo curry. Kind of uses to make authentic Vindaloo curry. Try it as a rub too. And it even gives a little um, a little thing on the back, a method on the back to get traditional Guan pork Vindaloo. Which is really cool. It's got... Roasted cayenne chilies, turmeric, paprika, mustard seeds, roasted naga jalokia chilies, cumin seeds, cinnamon and cloves. Use up to four teaspoons for four servings. So it's like a teaspoon per person. There are over 20 servings per pouch. And it's a proper little, like, um, like almost like shrink, like vacuum sealed pouch. I don't know. It's, it's, it looks like the sort of thing that's going to expand a little bit when you uh, introduce air to the packet. We'll soon find out. Oh. Yeah, it sort of chills out a little bit when you do that. Right, I'm literally having a fucking dab of this because reading the ingredients is going to be fucking hot. So, yeah, I'm going to have that much and we're going to go from there. <clears throat> I definitely taste the different spices in that. But it's also... Really fucking hot. Wow. <coughs> wow. That's got a fucking punch. Woo! It's got an initial bang, and then it, it, but it dies off very, very quickly and just leaves you with a really gentle afterburn on your tongue. That is going to be amazing cooked. I can, I can just tell. Dexter, go away. Come on, go away. Go and lay down. Good boy. Go and lay down. Or just sit there looking at me. Right. So that was the Vindaloo Spice Blend from Season Pioneers. That's sticking around. That burn ain't going. Wow. That's impressive. That is going to make a lush curry. Cambridge Chili Sauce Company, Naga Laid. Cambridge Chili Sauce Company, we the finest ingredients, blah, blah, blah. Our Naga Laid is extremely fine with jelly with shreds of Naga Chili running through. Used with cheese or as a glaze for meats or try stirring through rice or couscous. Ingredients. Bramley apples, sugar, Naga Morich peppers. That's it. Simple, three ingredients. I don't think I've ever tried this one. I've tried a few of uh, the Cambridge Chili Farms products but yeah just gonna have a little bit <clears throat> I 
<coughs> it's extremely hot. Like really, really a sharp bang. By the way, you can go to the website. <coughs> Cambridge Chili. .co.uk For me, the flavour is just a little bit flat. And when it says Naga Laid, I was looking forward to some sort of Naga Chili Marmalade. Like a proper like orange, nice orangey Nagari, but it's not. It's literally, it's like an apple and naga jam. There's a few, as you can probably see, there's a shitload of seeds and flesh in it. The problem is, those seeds don't make for a very nice eating experience when it comes to jam. They're not, you know, they're not strawberry seeds at the end of the day. They're not little tiny strawberry seeds. They're fucking chilli seeds. And apart from the naga in that, I... It's it's pretty sweet, but for me, I don't rate it, I'm afraid. It's the only product out of all this that's actually not very good. It's it's a bit too sweet. The cat's fighting with the dog. Hey, leave him alone. Go over there, go on. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a bit too sweet for me. Uh, overly sweet, you know I'm not a big fan of sweet stuff and yeah, it's it's not quite what I was expecting it's literally like an apple jelly with naga running through it which is great but I like a bit more flavour with my jams and things like that I think I've been spoiled by the likes of the Wiltshire Chili Farm um, and, and you know, Timmy's Chilies with his naga laid and stuff like his naga marmalade and all that sort of mama naga, I can't remember what it was called but yeah, I've been spoiled by people like Timmy's Chilies and the Wiltshire Chili Farm uh, who, who do amazing jams with great flavour running through them and a nice punch of heat in places as well. But this, it's a lot of heat, a lot of sweet, and that's about it. There's no real flavour behind it, no proper, nice, sort of, just, I mean, the three ingredients, Bramley apples, sugar and Nagamarich peppers, you just want something just a little bit more, you know? But... Anyway, that brings us to the end of this week's, this month's, Lick My Dip Ultimate Review. Uh, go to LickMyDip.com, go and sign up for your box. I'll put an affiliate link in the description below if you go through that affiliate link. Um, and I think you've got to use a code, I can't remember what it is, whether Darth Naga's Ultimate or, or something like that. But I'll put the code down there as well that you use and it will give you money off. Uh, and also for everyone that sort of buys a box, I get a bit of money off my next box. Which to be honest, considering i got a wedding paid for, really fucking helps. Because uh, I do actually have to pay for my box. Uh, a lot of people seem to think I get it for free and I really don't. I do actually have to pay for it because I like to support them. Um, with something like this because I know what goes into it. So, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Amazing all round. Uh, the ones that really fucking shone for me in this was the Tubby Toms and the Chamoolies. You cannot go wrong with these two. Even if you don't end up buying the Lip My Dip box, which I really, really, really think you should, get, get in on it. Even if it's for a couple of months, do it. Just see what it's like. You've got to try it. With all these products, for only fucking £24.95, and then, you know, you get, <laughs> if you use my affiliate link, you get money off. Like, fucking hell. It's it's a bargain, absolute bargain. Look at this. Those two alone are fucking amazing. Chamoolies, Tubby Toms, amazing. Do it. Go and do it right now. Lickmydip.com. Go there and enjoy it. Um, okay, so that's it for me. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Show all your friends, um, and if you if you if you like vaping, pop over to my vaping channel. I'll put a link in the description below because I'm doing similar things over with vaping, enjoying you know just everything. It's cool. Um, so yeah, that's it for me, and I will see you guys next time. 
So may the source be with you. Always take care.